Hey everyone, cheers. Um, I just did a live video, but it's on my phone that doesn't have any, any uh, the mic doesn't work. So um, sorry about that, I had to delete that and I'm gonna just do a normal video, it's got a better quality. But I, you know, I just, I just, uh, what I was saying was, I, I'm just gonna pour myself a drink of this, of this Nor, Nor, Norwegian Aquavit, which is a anise flavored liqueur, or actually, it's a, it's a, it's a liquor. It's um, not a liqueur, but it, uh, it, it, it actually was first uh, made in Trondheim. It has to cross the equator in a, I think, a wooden uh, oak barrel, and then back, in order for it to be considered true Aquavit. Um, but uh, normally you just drink it at uh, Christmas, uh, whenever. Um, but I discovered that our problem with guns and drugs, I bet you it's a lot to do with this right here. But no one wants to believe it. The problems will exist just like how we drive cars everywhere and we all claim we care about the environment. So the real problem, I think, is this right here, alcohol. And uh, I'm, not, I'm not saying prohibit it. Uh, it should it should um, be outlawed or banned. That's a stupid idea. It just needs to be it just needs to be controlled in different ways. Like in Norway, there needs to be different ways of looking at it. Right now, people are just we just consume as much as we can of everything. That's how we work. We, we sell as many guns as we can. We drink as much as this as we can. And I'm I'm. 100% convinced that this is probably why our brains are going to mush. You know, I remember, I mean, in the 1950s, do you think people were shotgunning beers and doing beer bongs and um, playing beer pong? And come on, guys, it's this. This is making our brains turn the mush. It's making us do other drugs. <laughs> ban, ban some guns. Our brains are still going to turn to mush. People are going to be blowing people up, shooting people with other kinds of guns. It's not going to change. And eventually, they'll start to realize it is a problem with our brains or whatever. But um, I, just, I, I just want to have a little drink tonight with myself. And um, um, I'm excited that uh, my family started a beverage company back in the 1880s and I, um, in Norway. And I really think uh, in the future I could start a non-alcoholic beer company maybe with some cool flavors because i like the taste of beer um somebody said on my post earlier whether or not that beer i was holding in the picture was coke and i think they were trying to say you know don't bash beer man you don't need alcohol non-alcoholic beer you can just do a coke instead i don't like coke i don't like all that sugar i don't like all the artificial sweeteners, every time I have a Diet Coke, someone has to tell me, ooh, you, 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 drink, you eat that Splenda or whatever the hell is in them. I don't, my dad's been drinking Diet Cokes for 40 years. He's almost, seven, almost, almost 70. So, you know, I don't like pop. But I actually, I like a non-alcoholic beer. I really do. So I don't think it's weird at all. And in Norway, they don't think it's weird. But I'm just going to celebrate a little bit of this tonight while I carve some tiles and um, just uh, savor this this day for having discovered this for myself. I mean, why did I not realize that alcohol is the problem with guns and drugs? It's this. Big part is this. <laughs> it's so simple. But we'll fight and we'll argue for political reasons to get someone elected for other reasons. <laughs> Maybe you guys all knew this already. I'm just late into the game. <laughs> okay, um, time to carve some tiles. <laughs>